What's going on? It's your boy, Julian, with the lovely ladies of Maxim. And this is a video I've wanted to do for a long time, in the making, a personal car review of my 2007 Scion TC. Let's get it. So, when I originally bought the car or was looking for it, I was looking for, you know, a fun to drive car, something not crazy fast. I wasn't really looking for speed, uh, just something fun to drive. And I've always been a big fan of Toyota, which you can see by the banner. And my first car was a 95 Toyota Celica. And I fell in love with Toyotas and two doors. And that was when I first learned how to drive stick. So I wanted something that was stick, which yes, this is a manual. Gotta get the manual, it's way more fun. So I was looking up, you know, basically two door Toyotas that were still affordable, which there weren't that much. You know, you got your Celicas, you got your MR2s if you really got the money. But a lot of sources was really pulling towards the sign on. And I, you know, looked at it. And I remember when I was younger, I've always wanted one because they were cool little cars. And I was like, hey, I got the means to get it right now. I saw one online. I got it with 120K miles. Currently, we're sitting at about 140K just hit. And uh, I guess I'll let you guys know what I think of the car so far, what I've done to it so far in this past year and a couple months I've had it. And just give you a general overall feeling and what I think about it. Uh, another reason I really wanted to make this video was because I don't really see that much videos about this car and the ones I do see are very old and outdated. So I was like, hey, 2023, this car is still alive. It's still beautiful. It's still fun to drive. And yeah, it has its little problems. This unfortunately is one of the oil burning versions. It's a 07, um, which I didn't know about till after I bought the car. But even then, still a great car. And uh, let's start taking a look at what I've done to it so far and the mods I've done and how I like them. And maybe later we can go on a little test drive. Starting from the front of the vehicle, um, I do want to replace the bumper. I'm not really feeling the yellow tail uh, fog lights. So new bumper to come. I mean, I've added a tow hook on there. I replaced the stock headlights with tinted headlights. Um, got those on eBay for about 140 bucks um i did have a top and bottom part of the grill but i was driving one day going about 50 60 miles an hour hit an armadillo and realized the next day that my bottom part was missing so it is what it is i'm gonna just wait to get a new bumper and replace it all and get that fixed up um when i got the car i did have a couple dings right here and this fender was a different blue than the rest of it but hey what are you gonna do get that fixed later moving along got my little margin boo sticker you know what i'm saying gotta represent um i got the front windows tinted those didn't come tinted coming in on the inside nothing really too crazy in here you know, you got your standard five speed. You got this little Toyota shift knob, which originally it was facing like this, but for some reason now it's tight around this area, which is cool. Somebody gave me this and I was like, hey, just lay it right here. Looks kind of dope. I like the pink, you know what I'm saying? Pink and blue, can't go wrong. Um, got my little stickers, you know what I'm saying? So they can tell I'm a nerd life. But yeah, it's definitely nice inside try to keep it as clean as i can and i mean i'm about 5'11 and it's a great car fits me well coming along to the back side i have a window spoiler you know what i'm saying don't have the wing on this so i try to give it a more sporty look as i possibly could um i did have this small carbon fiber lip which I think is pretty cool. Adds a little depth to it. I do have a second gen TC wing that I plan on getting painted and putting on. I've test fit it and I've seen other uh, videos with 
the TC with the second gen wing, first gen with the second gen wing, and it actually fits really well and matches up perfectly. Doesn't cover up any uh, tail lights or anything like that. Coming down to the bottom, I do have a aftermarket engine SES exhaust. Sounds great, love it. Also got that on eBay. It was about 550, not too bad. Definitely worth the horsepower, plus 10. Got my little engine sticker. Gotta let them know, gotta let them know what's inside. And let's pop the hood. And for the creme de la creme, we have the engine bay. First of all, you know, we got our stickers for extra horsepower. Vroom, vroom, stay lit, rear G JDM parts all day. Mm -hmm. I have my Godspeed coilovers back there. They are damper adjusting and camber adjusting in the front. The rears do not have camber adjustment, but that's all right. I also have an engine intake. It did come with longer tubing if I wanted to run it as a cold air, but didn't have the time, didn't really care for it. Plus, if it rains, I'm not trying to not be able to drive my car. Um, I also have a throttle body spacer, which you can kind of see right there. Um, definitely felt a little bit of a difference in low end torque. Um, has a great sound, love the intake paired with the engine exhaust. I'll definitely recommend that if you want to go engine. Always looking for a sponsor. Thanks, engine. this video was I don't really see a lot of up-to-date Scion TC videos the ones I do see they're very outdated five years ago ten years ago like people forget that this car is still alive and still out here and still surviving as it should be it's a Toyota so you know, driving the car, like I said, I have Godspeed coilovers, uh, engine, axle, back, and intake. As you can tell, it gets up and it gets around. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's no horsepower monster, but it's fun to drive. It's very agile. Hey, I ran down the F-150 in this thing. I ran down a, a BMW. It was an NA. It was, you know, a standard, just your regular one. But still, it was an inline six. And for some reason, he couldn't touch me, man. It was crazy. I was actually very proud of my little Scion. But, um, you know, it's a fun car. Once you put a little upgrades on it, it's fun around little bendy roads and... It has a lot of potential, you know. Uh, I still have major plans for it. Uh, I want to get some wheels. Uh, I eventually do want to get a tune on it, you know, a couple extra horsepower. I'm trying to hit that 200 mark. But, um, yeah, you know, after a year and a half, it's a great car. The only problem is it does burn oil. Uh, I would say maybe about every 15, to 1700 miles I'll probably go through a quart give or take take um, and you know it's not really a problem uh, low key at my last job I uh, got a five finger discount on a five gallon box of oil so I'm not really too worried about oil but I mean hey everyone's not as lucky as me but uh great car it's fun i've the 
little bit of upgrades I've done to it makes it that much more fun. The price I paid for it, smiles per miles. They are definitely there, I'll tell you that much. And um, yeah, if you're ever looking into buying one, I'd say, hey, why not? It's a fun project car and it's a good daily. Um, if you'd like to see more content, I plan on making some more. I'll keep you guys updated on the future things I do do to this car when I do get my wheels and maybe hopefully one day I can get it tuned. If you'd like to see more videos, like, subscribe. I feel like I sound like every YouTuber out there right now, but I mean, hey, that will let me know that somebody's watching, you know? But uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Like I said from the beginning, it's your boy Julian, and this is MTV Whips. Tedris.